Hello everybody, it's me again and um, welcome to a new video. The topic of this video is uh, debugging and troubleshooting your app. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you the common mistakes that most uh, students do and how to find errors and how you fix them. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create new apps, create uh, with the um, with start Xcode and create a new app and then single view apps, fine. And you can call it debug app and then hit OK and then hit OK. All right, in the view controller, we got our view controller and then we got the main storyboard. The first part I'm going to show you is that the problem with outlets and the common mistakes that students make as they're doing outlets. Okay. Uh, if you click on the code assist here, I'm going to add a couple labels. One, two, and we're gonna add maybe buttons. Okay, couple of buttons, or and then text field, just to show you what or how you solve these problems. Okay, um, here's my view controller. If you remember, you click on the code assist to show you. If you if you if you're looking at it this way. You can always click, click on the uh, editor assist, and then you can see the code as alongside the view controller. In the previous video that we talked about outlets, is that you connect these with outlets in the code, so in order to modify them or read from them. So uh, in here, I'm going to connect this label first. And it's a label, and it's a it's a label. So I'm going to say LBL one, okay. And okay, I made a mistake. Okay, and then here is LBL two, and this is a button. So I'm gonna it's an action. So I'm gonna connect it and then do an action, and click me. All right, and the last thing is the text, is you do, okay, it's an action, so I'm gonna put it on the top, so txt1. All right, so I have few outlets buttons, a uh, few outlets, uh, outlets, and then one action. Now, students sometimes they don't like the names of these. So what did they do is that they go back they, and then they change the name. Maybe I don't want it like they I say I'm gonna call it label actually one. Okay, label one. Now you can compile it by clicking on product build, no problem. Okay, it, it, or command B, you get a message saying successful, everything looks fine. But you notice, you don't pay attention, there's this here, it's, it was actually a dark circle, now it is empty. Okay, that should give you a, 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 a hint, there's a problem. So, but if you run it, what do you get? This is related to Outlet. You'll actually get a, your application crashes. And we wait, we wait, and then finally, hopefully, it shows up here. <laughs> All right, and you get an error. It says, okay, the, the error class, the class that is showing here is the app delegate. So you don't know where the problem is. As a beginner, you don't know what the problem is. So where do you look to find the problem? Well, you look at the output window. Now this output window sometimes is not shown, so you need to show it. And how do you show it? By clicking on the toolbar here and click on this, hide or show the debug area. And there are two options here. There is one for the debug and one for the output. This is the output. Okay, so right now I'm selecting the output. Now this is the debug. You can select both of them, okay? So it'll show the debug and then the, out the output. So we're interested in the output right now. So, how do you read this error? It says, your application terminated because um, it could not find a key. Okay, undefined key. What is this? When you have the word key, 
it usually means that there is a problem with your connections in your storyboard. And the quickest way to find it, yes, is telling you that it's looking for LBL1, but if you have a lot of connection and you've done it before, it's, it's hard to remember. So the quickest way to do it is that you go to the storyboard and here's the screen that you only have one screen. You click on, right to click in the view controller on top and then you'll see that you have a problem here. It's saying it has a warning. When you see any of these that is actually like that, that warning sign, that means that need to be taken care of. So what do I do? I can just simply exit from here, delete it from here, okay? And how do I establish connection back? Well, you can drag it again, or you can click on the code assist one more time. <clears throat> and you see here, it says manual. How do I get the actually view controller related to this view controller on the storyboard? Well, you can click on, click on this and select automatic, okay, to make sure that you got that view controller. The quickest way you can do it is I just drag, do you see that circle? You can establish that connection again with this. And now it's okay. So you can just click on this, this, it's fine. So that is related to output. So there is a key. So there was something called key. When you, use, you, when you find the word key, when you see this word key, means that there is a problem with the connection. Go to the storyboard, right click in here, and find the ones with the yellow, delete them, and reestablish the connection. What about the function? Well, I have a function called click me. Same thing. Uh, I don't like click me, it says click here, okay? And again, you lost that connection. And again, if you run it, you will get an error. Your replication will bomb. Okay, it hasn't bombed yet because you have not clicked on this, but when you click on this, it will bomb. And then again, similar error. And here, this time, it talks about undefined selector. Okay, unrecognized selector is trying to find this thing called click me, but I don't have anywhere in my view controller something called click me. It has click here now. So how do I fix that error again? Okay, you can change the name here if you want, or you can go back and establish the connection. All right, so how do I reestablish the connection. You go back to the main storyboard, and if you click on the code assist, let's see if this works. I haven't tried this one before. Again, select automatic, all right? And if you try to click here and point it here, it's not working, right? You can't do it with the, with the, with the buttons, okay? So what do I do? So do, can I even click from here and here? No, you can't, okay. Can I, the, another way you can do it, you right click here and then point it at the view controller. There is no option here to connect it to uh, uh, a button. Well, what about if we click here? Now notice I have click, uh, here's a, there's that function, right? Uh, we need to delete it. We delete this button from here, right? And I have that click here function in here. So can I drag it from here to here? Yes. Okay, you see how you do that? You basically right click on the function and then you get a window, all right? You can move it aside. I have it already. And that is the function, which is this one that we changed. And from here, you can connect it. Now, when you connect it back to this button, it will tell you what do you want, which action do you want to trigger? When do you want to trigger this function? Well, because it's a button, we usually select touch up inside. And that would be this way, all right? So that is uh, troubleshooting your outlets, all right? Which is a very, 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 very common mistake. 
and uh, I'm gonna stop here and in the next one I'll show you how to use the debugger all right now if you run it of course it should work no problem okay all right I'll see you in the next video which is gonna come quickly